Mighty the Armadillo was one of the earlier supporting characters added to the now ever blossoming roster of Sonic Pals. First introduced in 1993, the character has disappeared from the more recent Sonic games, much to some devoted followers' disdain. So, where did he go? And why did Sega decide to axe him? Well, we aim to answer those questions and more with our list of the top 10 Mighty the Armadillo shocking facts. Number 10, his first appearance. Despite being known mainly for his involvement in Knuckles' Chaotix, Mighty's first appearance was in Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. He was captured by Robotnik and imprisoned on Eggman Island, where he was supposed to be executed along with two other Sonic characters, Sonic himself and Ray the Flying Squirrel. The three worked together to break out and fought against Robotnik before the Mad Genius blew up the island altogether. Up next, number 9, Knuckles' Chaotix. In Chaotix, Mighty stumbles upon New Tragic High Zone's island while on his travels. He is then captured by Robotnik, who has a thing for imprisoning him. Robotnik had occupied the island while planning to steal the Master Emerald. He ends up being freed by Knuckles and Espio the Chameleon before joining their group to take Eggman down. Up next, number 8, Missing. After Chaotix, Mighty would appear in three more games, Sonic Jam, Sonic Gems Collection, and Sonic Generations, all of which were only cameos. The cameo in Sonic Generations is actually a pretty nifty one. The character alongside Ray the Flying Squirrel appears on missing posters scattered through City Escape in the console and PC versions of the game. The poster features both of their faces and text that reads, Missing since 1993. The character's name is also spelled wrong. Armadillo is spelt with two D's and one L on the poster. I mean, I guess they didn't really have spell check back in 1993. And at number 7, Sonic Mania Plus. Now, we haven't seen much of Mighty since his days in Knuckles' Chaotix. Sonic Generations was the last game that the character appeared in, but luckily it won't be his last. The character is slated to be playable for the upcoming Sonic Mania Plus, an upgraded edition of the commercial retro hit Sonic Mania. In addition to Mighty's inclusion, Ray the Flying Squirrel will also be a playable character, and there will be an encore mode added to the game, which remains mixes the zones with visual changes, and the competition mode will now be expanded to allow 4 players. This expansion will be released on August 28th of this year in the US. Up next at 6, his disappearance. We've never really gotten an official statement from Sega concerning the reason why Mighty has disappeared from the Sonic games. But Takashi Azuka, known for being one of the key producers, directors, designers for Sonic Team, has stated that Mighty is considered to be part of the classic world, and a classic group of characters. He went on to say that Mighty still exists in Sonic's world, and there is always the possibility of some classic iteration of the character which has come to fruition with Sonic Mania Plus. Up next at 5, The Comics. The Sonic The Comics series has taken a bit of a different approach with Mighty's character. Not to be mistaken with the Archie comics, this series featured a version of Mighty that had him acting as the strongman of the Chaotix crew, and he would often act without thinking. He had a rivalry with Espio the Chameleon, and often the two would get into arguments about who the better fighter was. Up next at 4, Blockhead Bill. In the Sonic The Comics series, Mighty has a father, who's named Blockhead Bill. Bill has been described as a senile, super strong superhero, who constantly mistakes people for his old foes, including Sonic. He also mistakes his own reflection in a mirror as being his brother, despite never having a brother in the first place. In the Archie comics, Mighty has a different family origin. He was born into a family of thieves who were all imprisoned. When he fails to save them, he exiled himself out of guilt, and later joined up with the Chaotix. And at number 3, his creation. Mighty's creator is Manabu Kusunoki, who was a former developer and designer for the Sonic team. He first began designing characters for Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, an arcade game that came out in 1993, which is also Mighty's first appearance as we mentioned earlier. Of his creation, he stated in 2018, I quote, Yes, I designed the armadillo and flying squirrel characters. I did come up with backstories for them, but I can't recall them anymore. I do recall why I chose those two animals, though in order for them to control, just like Sonic did, they needed to be animals that could have the same proportions, with heads that were roughly half the size of the body. And since the game starred a hedgehog, which is a relatively obscure animal, I wanted his companions to be equally unusual. The squirrel character he is referencing is Ray the Flying Squirrel, who Mighty is first introduced alongside. Up next at 2, he dislikes violence. According to the Knuckles Chaotix instruction manual, Mighty is very much a pacifist and really dislikes violence or any sort of roughness. That being said, the character has been known to get past his disdain in times of need and use his strength whenever there's trouble around, but only when it's a last resort. It also states that he prefers his life to be filled with peace and enjoys activities that perpetuate that and perpetuate his love of nature, like forest bathing. And finally, in our number one spot, he loves to travel. Another fact about Mighty pulled straight from the Chaotix instruction manual is that he loves to travel. His goal in life is to travel to all of the places in the world. Considering he doesn't seem to hang out with Sonic or Knuckles much these days anymore, perhaps he's out there living the dream. Alright, there we have it friends. Are you fans of Mighty? Are you excited to see him return in Sonic Mania Plus? Let us know in those comments below. If you dug this video, hit that like button, click on subscribe, and definitely check out the videos in the playlist that's up on your screen right now. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. Catch you all in the next video.